Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Need for Speed 2015. I hope you all had a great weekend. We're back for a brand new week of videos starting out with a mad insane build of the Subaru BRZ or in this case it's going to be called the Rocket Roo because we're going to be fully rocket bunnying it out. As you can see right here, we've already maxed it out. I went, saved up a bit of money, I sold a couple of cars and um, we've just maxed everything out. So we've got 992 horsepower, 232 miles an hour top speed. So that's faster than a freaking Pagani Wyra, for crying out loud. And 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. But the most important thing that we're going to be doing right now is the actual customization. Starting, I am very tempted by the Volume 1 Rocket Bunny Kit. Because not a lot of people go for this. They normally go for this one. But I do prefer the looks of this one. So... We're going to be going for this one. Now let me know in the comment section below guys, how was your weekend? Me, I was just working away as usual. Uh, just trying to get that money, money, money in. <laughs> Not a lot of it, but yeah. <laughs> it's enough to get us by, isn't it? It's enough to get us by. I mean, I wish we got like a non-carbon fibre option for that hood there. It's just me, man. Just me. Front canners. Oh my god, no. It's like a freaking samurai sword, man. No, we are keeping it clean. We are keeping it very, very clean. What's the splitters like? Wow. Okay, I did not expect that. That actually looks very nice indeed. Um, ooh. <laughs> that looks so mean. That looks very mean indeed. Now, time to slam this bitch right down. Hell yes. Now, I know exactly what rims we're going to be putting, this, putting on this, I should say. It is a certain type of Vorsteiner rim. It's going to stand out very, very nicely. I think that'll do there. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. <laughs> that'll do, man. A uh, little bit of camber. I would say just a couple of bits. There we go. That's perfect to Mundo. Thank you very much. We'll take that. Now, let me know down below, guys. What have you done to you, BRZ or FRS GT86 in the game? Um, it's kind of weird how we actually get limited to certain customizations in certain types of cars for these, if you know what I mean, because I think the BRZ offers the most customization out of the three, so it's kind of weird how that works, but the BRZ is my second favourite, I'm a Toyota GT86 guy, I like that because I like the heritage behind it because it's basically the successor to the AE86, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, and I've heard rumours, getting on to like a, another JDM topic here, Nissan are meant to be bringing back like the S15 or I think it's the S16 they're actually going to be bringing, uh, not bringing back, but you know what I mean, they're actually making an S16, oh my god, oh my god, I cannot wait for that, these were the rims I was talking about, they look absolutely gorgeous, change the size, that didn't really do much did it, um, yeah, we'll put it up here anyway. So apart from changing the front and rear rims, we've also kept the stock tires and we've added a blue endless brake caliper for both wheels as well. Kind of blends in very, very nicely with the Subaru Blue. Now, in terms of the wing mirror options, we're not going to do that because one, that mirror looks okay right now and the other mirrors, it doesn't really suit the car in my opinion. So we're going to keep on moving around to the rear end where we are going to be putting a diffuser on it. Oh my god, that looks very, very nice. Uh, let's see, that actually looks a bit nicer. Charge speed mixed with Rocket Bunny. I don't know about you guys, but I really, really like the look of that. That looks so good. Jeez Louise, nice combination. Very nice combination, so let's go ahead and check out the exhaust systems. Want a big beefy exhaust for this. Don't hold back, please. The big fart cannons. <laughs> Uh, the veggie plate's already been done. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got spoiler option. Oh, no, why? Why do you have to do that? Seriously? Bloody hell no. We're keeping the stock one because it looks very, very nice with that. Sound system for pumping out the tunes, man. Gotta pump out them tunes. Pump. Speaking of pumping out them tunes, right? See, last night when I was watching some YouTube videos, I freak, no, it was Saturday night actually, I heard <laughs> these guys blasting, pump up the jam, pump it up, why your feet are stomping, coming out their freaking car. It's hysterical, absolutely hysterical. So, 
I think we're going to leave it like that. It looks very, very nice, clean. I'm not going to put any stickers on it or anything to ruin it, but basically we're going to go out and test it with the manual gearbox right now, guys. Okay, it's official. I have fallen for this thing. It looks absolutely fantastic, especially with them wheel arches. Let me know what you make of it in the comments below, guys. Would you have your BRZ like this? Or if you have one in real life, do you have one like this? But if I did have one, and if I ever do get one, which I highly, highly doubt, this would be it. Seriously, it looks absolutely fantastic. So, anyway, let's get going. We're at the dam area, the place that I know very, very well indeed. We're going to test a little BRZ out for a little bit of drifting, then we might enter it in a race or two. So, I've still got the last race to do. I think it actually takes place up here in the dam anyway. Not bad there. Now, I'm still getting used to the manual shifting in this game. It's still a bit glitchy in my opinion. If you know what I mean? It's not like snappy changes. It does feel like an automatic a little bit, apart from your assisting it. If you know what I mean? If that makes any sense at all. Just like when you're changing gears, the game does take its time to actually change them when you have actually selected to change up or down. Okay, here we go, up the hill, yes, very nice indeed, now I'll let you guys see the car because it sounds absolutely amazing. Gotta love it on the over one there, very good, donut time. Now it's still hitting off the rev limit like it used to do. Even when you change gear, it still does that. Oh, my ears are bleeding. That sounded phenomenal there, man. Every time with that view. I cry every time. Oh, yes, that's more like it. Hello, big bro. How are you doing in the soup, bro? Oh, look at this. Drifting Harmony. Well, this is a Subaru. <laughs> so easy to get these cars mixed up, though. Keep her going, keep her going, keep her going, keep her going. Can we manage it all the way around here? Yes, we can! Oh, oh, oh. Hitting off the rev limiter like an absolute nutter. Jump it! And broke the suspension. <laughs> what the hazard lights come on? <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that, I think. Holy moly, man. I hit the ground so hard at bloody... Cause fatal damage. So the car's like, uh, no. Take me to a repair shop now. I'll blink my hazard, please. I need some medical attention. Any mechanics around, please? So what I think we'll do now is actually jump into this race. I believe it is the final race of the main story. Hashtag ultimate best night ever. Hashtag ultimate best night ever. 420 YOLO blaze it, yo. <laughs> Holy shit, look at everyone. It is randomly stopped. Bloody hell, it's a car fest. And I'm slowly battering my BSC to bits. I mean, which car would you have out of all these guys? Apart from mine, <laughs> obviously. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, I love all of them. But for real life purposes, I'd probably have to take this. Seriously. The baby blue Subaru. Okay, whoa! Ho, ho, ho. That did not end well for that guy. Upside down. Inside out. He should have his hazard lights blinking, not this thing. Now forgive me if my shifts aren't exactly pitch perfect. Not the best at a manual gearbox. Come on, you big bitch. Move out my way. Thank you. Now I don't know if this race is all the way around the map. But if it is, we're in for a good time. We're in for a very, very good time. Oh, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I forgot this is Need for Speed 2015, rubber band and AI. Yippee! <laughs> Yippee guy, eh, motherfucker! Whoa! Oh, more rashy son, he's fun. No, change up, you idiot. I am doing so bad with this gearbox. Okay, now, I'm so getting used to it. It's not the best manual ever. Ugh. Yeah, I think I'm in the zone a little bit now, guys. I'm actually trying to concentrate. That's the thing, when you are doing YouTube commentary, it is kind of hard to put 100% into your driving because you are thinking of stuff to say, obviously, so it's not your full potential. Although I do try my best to. Oh my 
my god, that's one eighty ASX is putting up with a challenge. Oh. Cook. I am the cook. <laughs> I am the one who knocks. Now speaking of I am the one who knocks, I just actually watched episode one of Better Call Saul season two. Very, very happy that that is back. Season one was one of my favourite like TV programmes like premiere ever. Apart from Breaking Bad, I love it. Absolutely love it. Took myself out there, bloody hell. But season two looks really, really cool as well. But I just want to say, slight spoiler, it's nothing to do with the, sp the story or anything. If you follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you haven't, links in the description. Uh, I mentioned that there's a raced out Hummer H2 in the first episode of season two, which basically made me piss my pants with a laughter. It's freaking hysterical, it's yellow, it's got spinners on it, it's got flames, basically something out of Underground 2, essentially. Like a raced out Underground 2 Hummer H2, because I know that car was in Underground 2. Come on, Scooby Doo, but yeah, very, very good program. If you haven't checked out the first series, guys, go and check it out. Highly, highly recommend it. I mean, there's a lot of new stuff coming out, man. Seriously. There's, um, well, I know I'm not going to watch it, but there's that Fuller House shit. I don't know what it is, but it's meant to be like a sequel to Full House. I mean, we don't get that here in the UK, or we, we used to. Well, we, you, I can't speak. We didn't get Full House here in the UK, I believe, because it's an American program, but the things that I watch on Netflix, for example, Bojack Horseman, that's really, really cool. Um, Breaking Bad, obviously, Better Call Saul, so what do you guys watch? I'm curious. I'm very, very curious indeed. Oh my god. Through the tunnel we go. In the rocket room. <laughs> the rocket room. Burning out this fuse here. Alone. <laughs> okay, we've hit maximum capacity in this thing. 231 miles an hour. Holy shit. Let's use some NOS. This is gonna blow up any second. That was 236 miles an hour. And a little Subaru BRZ. It's hurting. I don't want to be doing this to this car. So sin, it's like, EK, what the hell are you doing to me? I'm revving the nuts off of me. You bloody idiot. You bloody idiot, man. Oh, no, you don't, Cook. No, you don't, Sonny. Boy! Oh, that was close. Very close. How long is this race? I've been going at it for years, it feels like. 105 checkpoints. Are you kidding me on, mate? Are you having a giraffe? Are you seriously trying to make me laugh right now? Move, bitch. Get out of the way. Thank you very much. Much. No! No! Why? Why? Why did I have to do that? No, 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 no. Oh my god, you must be kidding me. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. We're seeing second place. Am I not in first? What the hell? We overtook him. Right, there's another person there. We might be able to do this. I can't believe it. Don't speak too soon, Frankie boy. I seriously do not have any idea of what position I'm in right now. He hasn't telling us. And I really thought Cook was in first position. Pretty weird. I don't know why that's happening, but... Before we finish this phase, I want to give you a quick little sum up of the Subaru BRZ. Very, very controllable for only, for, for only, for having 982 horsepower. Yeah, only having 982 horsepower. It's not enough, is it? It's not enough in this little thing. <laughs> I mean, I was kind of pissed off that we couldn't crack a thousand, but 992, I'll, I'll settle for that, man. I'll settle for that. Come on, little Scooby-Doo. Where are you? What the f Okay, I ain't complaining. We get first place. Don't know how I did it after that, but that was a miracle. You totally smoked that dude. On the dream team. It's the dream team. Hell yes. Is that me completing the game now? Oh my god, please tell me. Please tell me I have. Oh, Travis, what are you wanting? Yeah, totally awesome. Okay, everybody, back to the club. <laughs> Back to the club, in the club, in the club, in the club. Right, we've got to check this out. All right, party. Yo, what's up? Hey, listen, Robin's got a little surprise for you. This is your big moment. But remember, brother, the road doesn't end here. I. Right? Come on, guys, look for the album. Hey, oh, we're getting a fighting. Hey, 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 hey! Everyone's here. Oh my God. Ken Block, Magnus Walker. Get together. Get together. 
Sitchies! Oh, speed in this case. Speed! And we've got a wolf mask on. Oh my god. We've got blue hoodie and everything. Oh, that is awesome, man. That's really, really cool. So that's be. Oh my god, I have completed it. And that's copyright music. Copyright music. Turn it off. So that's me now completed Need for Speed. What the main focus was on about with this video was the BLC. So let me know what you make of it. I really, really like this car. And I'll be keeping it in my garage. It's just a Japanese bay. I love it. Absolutely love it. So if you have enjoyed this build, guys, and video overall, then a like is always appreciated. Share it around with your friends as well. And follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well. So yeah, I'm always on there all the time. Sub to the channel if you do want to see more from me. But yeah. See you later tonight with another video in Forza Horizon 2. Thank you for watching and peace.